Hi darlings, I hope you're all alright and keeping safe and taking care of yourselves. Back for another react. And this reaction from a few days ago and apparently some people are full of shit. So let's get on with it. Poets don't know it. So here we are, we're in the kitchen and it looks like she's got a Tudor hat on again. Rather fancy that for King Henry VIII. And she's eating cheese. So I think she's in a little bit of a melancholy mood. A sense that's not that all's not well with our foodie. Let's get on with it. I'm good. Well, you don't seem too good, my darling. I mean, you seem a little bit troubled, darling. Come and tell Auntie Lou all about it. I mean, I'm not, but... Well, then, you're not? What's the matter? Tell us. Tell us all your woes. So? Oh! <laughs> We're having technical difficulties like yeah, Auntie Lou. I'm you get more like, like me every day. Oh, yes. We've got a haul. Fabulous. Marble cheese. Nice. Bailey's. So I didn't listen to, because I obviously don't want to trigger myself, and I fell asleep last night. But still, you listen, listen to I saw, it. I, so I finally seen just the part of his stream where mm -hmm. Dee Dee is opening her big, confident, phallically mouth. Is she? Oh, she's getting like so, you, Bab. They need to be put back into reality. About the do situation. that, and you're about and to do it. He doesn't realize. <laughs> so we're all going to sit down now and pay attention, especially you, Nada. Sit back. Pen and paper at the ready because food is going to lay it all out to you, darling. Here goes. Any credibility you have about taking me to court for any case of harassment is out the fucking window. Mm-hmm. I need to take my Oh, she's getting her hair off quite literally. Out the window. The minute you answered my phone calls. Mm -hmm. The minute you talk a shit on me online and you taunt thought me, this through. your case is out the window. Good luck. Take every penny, Natter. Yeah, from her, dummy. Well, it's took all yours, hasn't it? You broke. And for you to sit there and be like, I, I would do cooking and I would have a platform. Okay, let's let's see how it turns out for you. You have what? Eight thousand subscribers. Eight thousand subscribers. Oh, she's subscriber shaming now. You can't even do a fucking thumbnail on your... When, when's the last time you uploaded a thumbnail on your own? Hmm? He doesn't need to. You do so, no. it for him. The only reason you're making the measly amount of money you are right now is because you can't do it on your own. But he can learn, can't he? I mean, he is a sentient human being. I'm sure it's not beyond him. And I'm sure Dee Dee will find some way of teaching him. And then he'll be off. He won't need either one of you there. Good luck. You think it's so fucking easy. You think everyone's just going to hand you shit. Well, it is easy, actually. I mean, don't get me wrong. I was bamboozled at first with all this doobry dooness on the old Googlies and God knows what else. But I worked it out. And I'm a lot older than any of you. You expendable foodie. Remember that. In life. That's your problem. I don't feel bad for you anymore at all. Seeing how you treated someone who did your fucking thumbnails, paid your rent. Anytime you ask me for money, sure, no problem. You don't like that I talk about you. Well, maybe don't treat me like shit. Everything I've said about you online, how are you even mad for that? You. Well, he's mad because you outed him. Nasty pieces of work tend to get cross when you out them. And you chose to do all of those things, despite... Having it thrown in your face on numerous occasions. You know, you're forgetting while you're telling this story, while you're narrating this Jack and Ori, and this is for the nth time that you're doing this. I mean, your record stuck. We've heard this about a thousand times. You always forget to talk about the part that you played in the whole scenario. It gave me gonorrhea. So, yes, I went online and told people. And about when you, it. then you went back and had more sex Guess with him. Guess what? Don't give me gonorrhea and I won't have to talk about it. 
Why do you think I have? I'm obsessed. No, I was pissed off. That's a t-shirt and a half. She's thinking about doing merch. Why don't you do a t-shirt that reads, "Don't piss me off. Don't give me the clap." I don't. I don't like. I'm only saying this. I don't like the fact that they're trying to make me look fucking obsessed with him and stalkerish. But you are stalkerish oh, and obsessed. That was moved anyway. on. Really, Dee Dee. This also makes me realize he's fucking feeding her a bunch of fucking crap lines. And me a bunch of crap lines. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? The only reason he's still there... Do you not remember he was supposed to move out during for June 1st? I'm really pleased that she's catching up. I'm really pleased that you're cottoning on to all this that's gone on. Because we all knew about this months ago. And we're telling you months ago. I'm the one who declined the apartments. On live stream, I said we're no longer interested in the apartments. So No. Why? Because you continually treat me like crap. So instead of blaming me, well, you're the one who didn't want the apartments, maybe look at why I didn't want the apartment. Because you fucking, I'm, I fucking, like, I'm sorry I'm reluctant to move in with somebody who's been so fucking awful to me. All his re receipts just prove he hasn't moved on either. Hey, I wouldn't be able to message you or call you if you had me blocked on Messenger. And well, you didn't. You unblocked me. Neither one of you want to block each other, do you? Because this is the only content you two have got of any interest. You know that it brings in the views, which brings in the pennies. You're not going to block each other at all. Not completely, anyway. It's that little crack we talked about the other video. This was, like, the unblocking wasn't from... Oh, maybe from the thing? Well, he hasn't blocked me since then, and I was giving him a lot of shit. Oh, so you were checking then to see so where you were blocked so and where bad, you were so bad, why wouldn't you just block it? And why would you, Why is there a nine-minute call? Because you're manipulative, and you don't want people to see that. Black people and in glass people houses, kid. Or they just don't care. It's such a blessing we didn't end up moving in. Yeah. Natter's moved on. How do you know? Because you're so fucking far up his ass. It's pathetic. You friggin' side piece comb over loser. Oh yeah, I look cuter with you with a shaved than you with a shaved head than you with your fucking hey, shaming. Long shaved hair. <laughs> she's probably watching, of course. If she's not wa working. Well, you watch them, don't you? Mm -hmm. On the side. Hi, Star Kicks. Not moving in with him was the best. Of course, I would be paying for everything. What kind of fucking man are you? Having a woman pay for all your shit. You degrade me while you're on my iPad I bought you. Drinking from the coldest water bottle. In another woman's condo. And you feel like a real man? Fuck you. Hm. Anything I ever said about you is only because you fucking did it to me. So... You really have no one to blame but yourself again. When are you going to get the hint? When are you going to see the pattern that your life is shit because of yourself? About the same time as you see yours. When are you going to see that? So I don't want you. Ethan, welcome back to the resume. No, Donald Trump will be shamed here, cat hair, if you don't like it too fucking bad. This last live. <laughs> I don't want your weed. Okay, so, like, he's such a cruel piece of crap. See, I'm like, you're, like, outing me for trying to do nice things for you after you were fucking abusive to me for a year. Like, the fact that I'm even talking to you, you should be fucking lucky. And you will miss my absence. Don't worry about it. You know it. I think you'll miss his as well. No. Yeah. Please, you, there's nothing you can say to make me jealous of Dee Dee. No, nothing will make you jealous of her, Willis. Nothing at all. Because you're already jealous of her. You're jealous that she's got the focus of all your obsession and all your unrepentant love. Trust me. Trust me. I'm fine with sitting down and doing dishes. Oh, God, I can stand if I want. I don't want to. And I don't want to do exercise anymore. Exercise it. is rolling about like an ink blotter on that bloody exercise ball that you've got. That's what you called exercise. 
I think you need a dictionary, darling. Get a new definition. I'm allowed to talk about what I want. You have a problem with that? Absolutely not. It's You're content for me. About. Talk away, kid. Wear me ears I'm out. Happy. She did that cringe phone call. <laughs> She's so embarrassing. Oh my god. And you know what? I don't feel bad for you anymore, doo doo. You know why? Because you inserted yourself into this. You, I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're fucking enjoying it. Well, she's enjoying the fucking anyway. <laughs> you came down. You two did me wrong. You two fucking both cheated and lied on to me. Absolutely. Oh, you're a scorned you, woman, you, oh. you are. You like some of that of a Mills and Boone. And I hope that it comes out someday. But in the meantime, I have that yellow paper, 60 days no mm -hmm. contact. I'm going to be hanging out with Tony. Why? Oh, yeah. Who's Tony, darling? I'm very attracted. Is he your new amour? Where did you find him, darling? Did you call up Uber Eats and they sent along a nice Tony? Attracted to Tony. Mm -hmm. you know, Is he lovely? And I had fun and I like his lovemaking style. So. Is it fabulous? I think I'm going to hang out with him again. But he's a very busy worker too, so it's not going to be mm -hmm. like down my throat. Like I can like see him whenever. Oh, right. You can just pick him up and drop and him when you feel like. Times you, you were just trying to fucking be like, oh, woe is me. I'm so stressed out and sick. I'm so sick. You make yourself sick. You make your life hard for yourself. Does Girl, it? You know, I, I know somebody else like that, Bab, that makes things harder for herself. Come on, don't worry. They've been together? Really? I couldn't tell. I mean, what? Is it in whenever he says... She's not my type, or we're not together, we're just friends. Yeah, I'm glad I don't have to put up with that shit anymore. Sorry. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm never claiming, or I'm never simping for a man ever again. Who doesn't deserve it? Absolutely not. Hey, Ruth, I hate mini putt. Do you, babe? I don't want to, you know. I knew they weren't enjoying themselves. There was no gusto. There was no enthusiasm. What I don't want to do, I don't want to force myself to do things I don't like. Ooh, like, why should you bear? I'm not, I don't know. Like, for me, I get heat exhaustion Do really, you? really quickly. Even when I was thin. Thin? When were you thin? I want date time. And I have tired people blaming every single thing on fucking weight. When I was thin, I got heat exhaustion so quickly. Thinner, a lot thinner. Mm hmm I could not be out in 30 degrees doing activities. I'm not doing, I'm not putting myself through it. No. I'm not doing it. Um... Walking around too much gives me, it hurts my lower back, so Does I'm not it. Gonna do it. So just stay nice and immobile. That'll do you a lot of good, that will. And if that's how I want to live my life, then that's how I want to live my life. You can live your life however you like, darling. You're absolutely free to do whatever you like. But know this. It won't be living anything. It will be existing. Well, it will be existing until your heart gives out. Live it how you feel like you should. I'm focusing on my mental health. And I don't particularly care whether you exercise or not. I mean, I've given up on your health sprees. Because you go back on them every time. But I'll tell you what I would like you to do. Stop the pretense. Stop the bullshit. Be honest. Be honest. If, if you're not honest with anything else... Be honest with that one thing. Say, I'm giving up. I'm going to continue to be £400 plus. I'm going to continue to put my heart and all my other organs at risk. I'm quite happy to shorten my life because I'm lazy and greedy. But be honest about it. Because at least then, I for one will have at least one thing that I can respect you for. I don't want to do mini pie and I don't want to do them. I should just be honest about what I like. You yeah, be I mean? honest. I think that's what I should do. Mm. But like when I go on like a trip or something, I feel like I'll make sure I go to a museum or enjoy the sights. Like I'm tired of like doing things I don't want to do. <laughs> You've already said know. that. For me, I don't mind just like having a vacation, going to like a ho nice hotel room, you know, and living in luxury for a weekend. That's like a good idea. Of, like, in four walls. For me. I don't know. That's not all I My mental health makes it bad too, though. Like, I try, I don't know. I hate pushing myself doing stuff. Of course like you do, because you're naturally lazy. Mini cut sucks. I hate it. I just don't care. We know you don't, darling. I'm obsessed with Nashies. Oh, yeah. You're obsessed with Nashies and Nada. All the ends. Bingo. Oh, yeah, my dollar store shit. 
Oh yes, the hole. I'm looking forward to this. We also have to. Uh, I want to use my bong right now. Mmm, maybe. My, fabulous. I like this look from my bedroom. Fabulous. Oh, and another one. Each. Smashing. Are you going to use them to reflect in? Don't ask them any questions, though, will you? Don't ask them mirror, mirror on the wall who's the fairest of them all. Because if they say Dee Dee, you'll get cross. Cute. Lovely. Isn't they cute? Smashing. For four dollars, they're fabulous. That's I didn't buy that at Poundland, did I got you? I some gloves. I need to order. For like dealing with meat and stuff. Right. What sort of meat? This thing is cool. My friend showed me that they had one of these. Mm-hmm. So What's it for, Bab? basically, I guess, fill it up. Mm-hmm. With what? How do you open it, though? Take the top off. Oh. Is it a puzzle? Is it like a Rubik's Cube? Oh. Fill it up with soap. Washing up soap. I'm wearing a. Fill it up with soap. Mm hmm. Right? Yeah. I fill it up in here. Mm hmm. Is that what I'm supposed to do? I don't know. Read the bloody instructions, you silly Mary. And then you push it down, I guess. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Great. That's ingenuity for you, isn't it? I bet Mr. Dyson's really impressed. Wouldn't it be just easier just to squirt a bit in the washing up bowl? So there's dish soap at the top, and then you have your sponge on there. You mm -hmm. wet your sponge. And then you dip, it goes down like that. So it's one it of those gadgets soap. that you buy thinking right? that it's going to do something, but actually it does fuck all. Fabulous. A bit like Gladys. That's a good fruit fly strap. Yeah, I bought a sponge. Great. Oh, a little flag set. Use. But I think a bubbler. Fun, but just not Canada today. You want flags, wonky mm -hmm. darling? You're not very good with flags, are you? Especially red ones. Oh. Oh, I could have used this. I forgot I bought this. You can use it you can't even it's work out a fan lot. You'd be no good in at RuPaul's Drag Race. You need to be able to snap a fan like that. that. I was planning on doing things though. Well, yeah, you've Let's been planning that for years. Yes. I have no sympathy for you, doo doo. Have you but not? Are you not an empath you think anymore? You? you inserted yourself and stole my fucking boyfriend who won't even claim you. Oh, well, your boyfriend couldn't be stolen? No. Yeah, he's an ass, I know. But. You're a slime ball. I like it the most. You're really moving on, aren't you, chick? And this video's the proof. Is this your receipt? Your moving on receipt. <laughs> Very good. Lovely. They're not sugar-free. Are they not? A bit of sugar's not your problem, darling. But, 
You did me a favor. Did she? So thank you. I appreciate it. Great. I'm glad I can see you appreciate it. Thank you. Why do they keep saying burping and farting? That's a bad thing. You don't burp and fart or what? We do, but just not in public. When people not burp and <laughs> I hope this Tony's got a bit of a gas fetish. I hope he's into pumping and trumping and, you know, loud noises coming out of even louder orifices. Where's Kevin? Oh, to the curb. No one wants to do activities in the sun. It's plus 30 and I can't breathe. There's nothing more miserable I can think of. I don't know how people enjoy this. Well, what they do is they don't eat themselves into an early grave, get to over 400 pound, and then go out and do mini golf or any other activity. What they tend to do is look after their health, rein themselves in. Hi, kill face. She's so lazy and immature. Yes, thank you. I'm happy that way. You look happy. So go away. Sat there at the kitchen table playing with a sponge. Seriously, I'm miserable trying to be something I'm not. You're miserable bleeding being something you are. I'm being a slave to bad habits. Oh well. I seem super happy. Well, I'm definitely fucking going mini putting in 30 degree weather isn't going to help. Oh, Jesus. Actually, pushing yourself to do things sometimes when you're really mentally ill is traumatic. Is it? So, putt. Watching you kill yourself with food and drugs, that's traumatic. Putt is traumatic, and I don't want to do it. Well, then don't bloody do it. You guys want to see some of the clothes I left at Natter's house? I'll show you because you guys haven't seen them in a while. Has he opened up an Etsy store then? As a little sideline. Oh, what sizes does he do? I might have a nose. Levi's. Lovely. Remember these? Ooh. I do. My dad had a parachute like that once. It smells like the friggin' trap house. Does it? Oh, I didn't know Febreze did a new scent. I will have to look out for that when I go to Morrison's for the shop. Oh, don't put your head near the crotch, bear. They are comfy, though. Oh, they're smashing. They stink, but they're comfortable. Fashion yeah. priorities. Is this my shirt? Well, that's not Nardis. Look at the bloody size of it. I've got smaller bin liners. It's got a hole in it. These joggers. I like these. Smashing. I already gave Kevin, I already gave Kevin 150 bucks. What you going to give him some money for? Yes, that bleeding smirk. Got caught out. Confessed again, have you? You stupid Mary. I don't know what to say. Because you're embarrassed because we now know what you've been up to. Fancy give. Oh, my goodness. Fancy giving somebody else a load of money, you bloody fool. Well, this is what you borrow, but now I guess it's given. Borrow till payday it was supposed to be. Mm. <laughs> We're supposed to be fucking borrowed till payday. Yeah, well, there's a lot of supposed tos in your past. So I know, I know. I have to watch because it's so easy to. I can get used very easily, so I have to yeah, watch. Yeah, because you're that desperate. Oh, what are we going to do with you? <laughs> you say no. Yes. No, you're right. I need to fucking, you know. I heard a fantastic thing. I think it was on, well, I never heard it. I read it on Twitter. This woman had said, no is a full sentence. Isn't that fantastic? And isn't that true? 
There is no harm in just saying no. You can say no to anyone. If you don't want to do something, you say no. And you don't have to give a reason. Oh, foodie. Christ almighty, will you please staple up. Get a stapler and staple up that purse of yours. <sighs> yes, I can, Elaine. Suck my ball. What about you? You're probably some fucking... Stinky, sour-looking fucking loser in your fucking mom's basement. Or an old, de old, smelly woman with no teeth. How do you know that? She could be a very healthy, intelligent, hard-working, well-rounded person. She's just happening to say something that you don't like. She's giving an opinion that doesn't follow your narrative, that doesn't enable you. So that makes her a nasty, toothless, bitter old bag. Go away. I need to stop giving my fucking money now. I sweet vintage though. No, Tony has got his own money. I see. Why are you so desperate for a male attention? I'm not desperate. You are desperate. I like male attention. Why does that make oh, me well, desperate? Oh, I know you do. Because I'm sexual. You're not sexual. You're desperate because you have no self-confidence, you have no self-respect, and you have mental health problems that go back to when you were literally a little girl, and you need major amounts of therapy. It's the attention that you crave, whether it be positive or negative, and it's nothing to do with sex. I'm not using it. Like, I don't feel like shit about myself if a guy doesn't like me. I don't care. No. <laughs> um, um, should, we just, should we just think up? Should we go on a channel now and count up all the videos that you've made about Nada precisely because he doesn't like you? Mm -hmm. Men do not ask women for money for a marry. When are you going to stop dating bums? I don't know. How long have you known Tony for? Five minutes. Oh, a while, actually. Have you? Ten minutes then. I just never met him until the other night. But I was, I did like him. Did you? So. Does he burn things in the kitchen by any chance? Well, I was supposed to meet him the first time. It was whenever I went to get my museum pass. Mm-hmm. Uh, I made the mistake of getting the museum pass. And of course, Natter didn't want that to happen. Well, how did Natter find I out? Guess. You told him. And we ended up going to a hotel. No, we, I think we just, I think we both wanted to just go to a hotel. I'm going to say that. So now I did finally meet him and then... Mm -hmm. Was it love at first sight? I find myself still thinking about him. Like, Did you? About the intimacy, just about everything. So. Mm -hmm. and day, let's get really mm -hmm. high and do the Ouija board and freak ourselves out tonight and do a seance. No, because you are bound to get probably the only ghost in the spirit world who's got no money, who burns everything he tries to cook, and he's basically a nasty piece of work. You'll get a bum ghost. You'd probably get a demon. Be Al's mob himself. In my room, I'm going to look it up online how to do a proper seance. Okay. Oh, technical difficulties again. Oh, Jesus. Oh, don't look down on me like that. <laughs> Can't you reach it? Go on. Oh, what? Spread your legs a bit. You need a strong foundation if you're going to reach down. Oh, Jesus. You proposed what? <laughs> sorry about that. You're sorry, but not sorry. Ooh. Did you finally find food but underwear? No, these are just... Are they? That's what you call knickers with tenacity. Lovely. They're sexy, aren't they? Oh, don't slap it about, Bab. You might knock some at loose. Yeah, they're spanks. They hold everything in. Do they? 
Got the most people that strong. They made a steal. I want to come up with my own thing that Kim Kardashian did. Oh, uh, yeah. I want to come up with some clothing items. I think I'm going to do that. Are they going to have okay. stinky crotches? A health journey would be good, but I don't feel like it right now. What? I hear that. I bet you oh, do it, Gladys, know, every five bloody it minutes. It turns me off and gets on my nerves, so don't. if you don't suggest it, maybe I'll do it. You'll never do it, Floss, <laughs> will you? And you know it. Look at that bleeding smut. She knows. We both know you won't. I'm on a health journey. Oh, yeah. Paneer land. That mm. would feel so much better. You think I would feel good? Or... Of course you bloody would if you went on a health journey, you silly Mary. If you look at my face when I was doing mukbangs, it's like a fucking ball. Like, <laughs> even worse than now. The ball dropped to your stomach. That won't work. It doesn't work, yeah, if you have an eating disorder, because you don't... <sighs> well, go to therapy and get your eating disorder yeah. sorted. And then the healthy what living might just, you know, follow on. It's hard, I know. I want to do something low, like, low impact, like yoga or something, because... Sitting on your chair. Yoga? Sitting on a scooter. Actually, you can do, on YouTube, there's some fantastic yoga sessions. And it is seated yoga for people who are not very mobile. And it really would help. I mean, I'm joking about it, but I've sort of done bits of yoga as time's gone on. I had a terrible frozen shoulder at one point, And it really did help. So I think that would be an idea for her. At least it would get her moving about and get her flexibility up. So she, if she drops her... Um, Bits and pieces, she'd be able to pick them up at least. Oh, they're going to do some exercise now. Here we go. Go on, food. Attack that foot, that exercise ball like you, like it's nada. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, is it going to pop? Oh, 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 oh. And if it does pop, it'll just be pop. Well, that's not very nice, Gladys. Mmm. Fabulous. See, I can do this every day. Mmm, Jane Fonda lives and breathes again. It's actually hard because you have to stabilize your core. Mmm, and you've got a big core, haven't you, lovey? Oh, oh. Oh, Timber, she's off, she's off. It's a good job she's not on a hill, isn't it? Oh. And Gladys jumps up to help her, I see. That was a smart idea. That's it, put yourself straight, Bab. Pop it all back in. Are you knackered now? Humpty <laughs> <laughs> Dumpty had a great fall. Mm, you <sighs> did, didn't you, Bab? You have to stabilize yourself. Mm. Hold your core. Yeah. <clears throat> And that was that. We finished with a bit of exercise. I mean, about five seconds worth, but you know. At least it shows a bit of willing. Anyway, she managed to get back up again. Like I said, Gladys rushed to the rescue. He's a prince charming, that man, isn't he? Eh? Just lying there while she's just rolling about, you know. Like a big marble. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Thanks ever so much for watching my video. It's been lovely talking to you all, spending a bit of time with you. Take care of yourselves. Remember, I love you all loads and loads. And remember, if you can't be good, be careful. See you later. Bye.